Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Katie McNeil. You've now clicked on the Weather Now link. Let's jump right into it. Taking a look outside right now, clouds have increased once again. We did get a little bit of a lull this afternoon and early evening uh, with some sunshine, but now clouds moving back into our area as we're expecting some rain showers moving through this evening. Taking a look right here, not quite seeing the impacts of those showers yet, but across the course of the rest of this evening until about 11 o'clock at night tonight, we'll be seeing these showers moving through. Nothing high impact, uh, but if you are heading out on the roads, just something to be mindful of as these showers move through here. But it'll be a fairly quick moving system uh, as a cold front moves across here. This will lead to much drier conditions already as we head towards the start of your Monday morning. So uh, again, only seeing the impacts of these showers moving through until around 11 o'clock to midnight, and then things will be looking a lot drier. Your temperatures right now, with that sunshine, we were actually able to get pretty mild out there today, well into the 60s still in some spots, 64 right now in Smithfield, Providence, a little bit cooler at 54 down at the coast, cool as well, 56 right now in Narragansett. And we'll keep up this trend through tomorrow with our first look at temps into the 70s for Monday. So as you can see here, some of these showers moving through possibility for some thunder, especially farther west. Uh, but again, this will be a very quick moving front coming through here. This will make things much drier or rather lead to much drier conditions as we head towards the pre dawn and then start of your Monday. Although looking at the chance for some patchy fog down towards the coast, which could linger on into the early morning hours, but then that'll burn off. Starting the day with more sunshine than clouds, but then those clouds expected to kind of build back in as we head towards the afternoon, but very mild temperatures into the 70s for your afternoon highs. So a pleasant day expected to stay dry as well. So good news there if you do have any activities or need to head outdoors during the afternoon. Maybe you want to take an outdoor lunch tomorrow. Looks good for that. And then temperature Temperatures will start to cool back down into the low 50s as we head towards the overnight. But overall, looking at a very nice day for Monday with those much warmer temperatures. Let's take a look at tonight, though. Again, tracking those showers earlier on, but after midnight, kind of around midnight, and then towards the pre-dawn hours, we're looking much drier. It'll also be a lot milder with higher dew points. So we're looking at lows warmer than what we've seen the past several days in the mid 50s and this will allow for a quick warm up already as you're stepping out the door Monday morning we will already be in the upper 50s at around 6 a.m. and this will lead way to temps approaching the upper 60s about a 10 degree jump here with that sunshine kind of increased in the morning as we head towards around noon time so even with that increase in clouds towards the afternoon especially will already be pretty warm and then we'll see those highs into the low 70s by the heat of the day in the afternoon. So again, looking like a nice day for Monday with those temperatures feeling a little bit more like summer in the 70s. We will be tracking the chance for rain again Tuesday night into Wednesday, but in the meantime, things looking good for the start of your work week. And as always, you can get your full forecast anytime at WPRI.com.